Lucifer Season 5 Parts 1 and 2 have finally been released on Netflix and fans have been going nuts with anticipation for Season 6. At first, it seemed like Season 5 may be the final chapter for our favorite characters, but at the last minute, Netflix offered the series one final season to wrap things up. While Season 5 was amazing, it was certainly difficult to film in the midst of a global pandemic. Let's dive into some of the difficult situations the cast and crew had to deal with while filming the most recent installment of Lucifer. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Lucifer Season 5 was one of the most difficult seasons thus far to film. The crew had been on their toes at all times, making sure they didn't violate any COVID guidelines and ensuring that only a limited number of crew members were on the set at any given moment. The government and state agencies that were tasked with monitoring the progress of many Hollywood productions did not take their jobs lightly and crews would be majorly fined if there were any violations. This meant that if anyone was on the set who didn't need to be there, they'd be booted off and asked to go home or go to their trailer. Masks were also 100% mandatory, so that didn't make the job of the makeup department very easy. In between shots, the actors were forced to mask up to keep themselves and others safe, which really placed a damper on their costumes and their makeup in between shots. I'm sure you've realized that after wearing a mask for a while, you can end up with some pretty unsightly creases on your face, as well as smudged makeup. However, the cast fought their way through it to make sure we got the best season we possibly could. Thousands of years, a few things might have changed. Lucifer 2.0. We're back. Great. What really put a damper on things was that season 5 was scheduled to be the final season for Lucifer. The crew, cast, and writers gave it their all to make sure it was the best season yet. But they were, admittedly, pretty rushed. They were in a major time crunch and needed to film the season in a fraction of the time that it would normally require. This was true for the writers as well. They had to rush to get plots and scripts finished up before their deadline was hit, meaning they had to cut several corners throughout the process. It seems as though they didn't have time to flesh out some of the character stories to their full extent, meaning there were a lot of loose ends that may never be fully tied. As the crew was getting through the final few days of filming, they'd begun to wrap up scenes for many of our favorite characters. They were at the tail end of filming and only had a handful of days left when they received a phone call from Netflix offering them one final season. This was a shock to everyone who had been working with the show, especially Tom Ellis, but we'll get back to him in just a moment. The showrunners were 100% on board with extending the show for one final season because there was a lot of ground they were unable to cover due to the serious time constraints. Joe and Idley Modrovich, the masterminds behind Lucifer, spoke in an interview with Entertainment Weekly after being offered a final season and said, We were like, no, this is perfect. If we do this, extend to season 6, it'll ruin everything. Then three days later, you're like, wait, how could we not have done this? It's the story we were always going to tell, but just written much larger and to me so much more interestingly. It breaks my heart to think we weren't going to do it this way. Aldi added, we want to really explore how our characters end up where they ended up. Welcome home. How do you like the mess I made? Many fans have begun to wonder if Tom Ellis was as excited about the season as everyone else was. If you've been keeping an eye on entertainment news websites recently, you've likely seen that Tom Ellis had a difficult time coming to terms with Netflix and negotiating a contract that seemed suitable for him to return to the show. We know that Tom was gearing up for season 5 to be the end of the line and he was utterly shaken when Netflix called to renew the series one final time. It was reported in April of 2020 that a contract dispute between Tom Ellis and Netflix was threatening season 6. It seems that all of the other actors had already reached contract deals with Netflix but Tom was not satisfied with what he had been offered. We don't really know if these contract issues were due to money concerns or if they were simply certain facets of the contract that he didn't agree with. TV Line spoke about the contract issues and seems to believe it was down to a pay raise that Tom Ellis wanted. It seems like he knew how popular the series had become and he didn't feel like he was being paid enough for being the star of the show. We know that, for a lot of these networks, all they care about is the bottom line. If they see that a series is doing great, they're going to keep renewing it until fans lose interest. However, they often don't compensate the actors for the rise in popularity of the show. We all know that the more viewers a show gets, the more money a network makes. 
But this money doesn't always trickle down to those who put in the most amount of effort. Gathering support from the others. Michael wants to be God. We are going to war. In the midst of the pandemic, when viewership was at an all-time high because everyone was locked away at home, Tom felt as though his appearance in the series was more valuable now than it had ever been before. We wanted to make sure he received an appropriate cut of his newfound income and asked for a raise. However, a source of TV Line reported, everyone wants Tom to be happy, but there's a limit, and it's been reached. Some reports and rumors seem to suggest that Tom has been given about $50,000 per episode of Lucifer. However, that's for the previous five seasons. We don't know how much he's expected to make for season six, but it seems like he should be making quite a pretty penny if negotiations went his way. We don't know how much money Tom has been making for how much money he wanted, but it seems like he finally reached a settlement with Netflix and all systems are a go for season six to premiere. Tom didn't seem too thrilled about coming back for a sixth season. However, this is likely why he was requesting such a large amount of money from Netflix because he honestly didn't want to come back for another season. It seems like he felt good about the performance he had put on for the series and was ready to move on to other things. However, the entire cast and crew were depending on him to come back for one more season. Not only that, but the fans were dying to have one more season as well. And we know that Tom Ellis doesn't want to disappoint his fans in any way. Considering the network had already announced that they were in contract negotiations for one final season, it would look super bad for Tom if he were to be the only person standing in the way of the final season being created. He spoke in an interview about season 6 and said, I'd plan to spend the season on my own grieving process. And then, right towards the end, literally as we'd already devised how we would end our show, we had a call from Netflix saying, Would you like to go another season? He continued this thought with the rap and said, Imagine running a marathon and then getting right to the end, and then they go, Oh, by the way, the finish line is a little bit further. Lucifer told me he had a twin brother. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael. Clearly, filming during the pandemic was quite difficult for the entire cast, but it seems like those final few weeks of filming really took a toll on Tom Ellis and caused him to want to leave the show. We're thankful he's coming back for one more season, but we just want him to be happy with the role he's playing and the direction the show is going. Here's to one more year of Lucifer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.